Hello friend, in this video we will discuss the general terms or the definitions we are using in the mechanical engineering. Okay, so if you are new here, please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get the new updated videos from mechanical design Adda. Okay, so let's start the video. So the first term is mass and the weight. Okay. So the mass is nothing but the amount of the matter contained in the body. Okay. Uh, the mass will not vary with the location. Okay. Where the weight, weight is a one type of force. Okay. Because it is the pull which exert the earth on the body. Okay. So earth pulling the body toward the center. Okay. So we call it as a acceleration due to gravity of the earth. It is generally 9.81 meter per second square. Okay, so the weight is a one type of force and it will change with the location. The mass is nothing but the amount of matter contained in the body and weight is nothing but the force due to the gravity. So the relation between the mass and the weight is W is equal to M into G where G is the acceleration due to gravity. The next term is inertia. So the inertia is nothing but the, the restriction to the motion. Okay. Suppose we are uh, force the body and after that uh, we release. Okay. So at the some uh, distance travel, it will automatically stop because of the inertia only. Okay. Because the inertia is the inherent property of the material that restrict the motion. Okay. So this inertia, gener uh, it is described in the Newton first law of motion. Okay. Or generally we call it as a uh, an inertia law. Okay. The next term is a force. Okay. So force we can easily understand like uh, suppose you are pushing or pulling the any object means you are applying the force. Okay. So the force we can use to stop or to change the direction of the object. So according to the Newton second law, the force is directly proportional to the rate of change of momentum. Okay. So here mathematically we can see uh, F is equal to rate of change of momentum. Okay. And here rate of change of momentum is nothing but the mass into acceleration. Okay. Because here the momentum is nothing but the mass into velocity. So here if I consider velocity means uh, at the initial velocity and the final velocity with respect to the time, then we will get the formula F is equal to M into A means force is a directly proportional to the rate of change of momentum. Okay. Next term is a very important term that is nothing but the movement of force or we generally call it as a torque. Okay. So the torque or the movement of force is nothing but the turning effect produced by the force. Okay. Consider the example of the this spanner or you can take the example of door. Okay. So one end is fixed and another end we are applying the force. Okay. So because of that one end is fixed and another end we are applying the force the turning effect it will produce okay the turning effect is nothing but the torque this turning effect is uh, depends on the force and the distance between this uh, fixed end and the applied force okay so these both the factors are very important okay uh, so that distance is also very important for the turning effect or the effort required to turn the uh, object okay so the next term is a couple which is uh, nothing uh, similar with uh, like a uh, uh, movement of the force so in the couple we are applying the two force at the two end of the lever or you can say the arm of couple okay so at the two end we are applying the force and the middle portion is the turning point or you can say the pure point so we are getting the movement at the both the end okay so the couple example you can understood with the help of steering. Okay. In the steering, we are applying the force at the two end. Okay. The movement of the couple or the couple, uh, it is nothing but the force into perpendicular distance. The next is a very important term is nothing but the density. Okay. So density is nothing but the how much mass contain in the volume. Okay. So how much mass contain in the volume is it is a, uh, here we can see in the gas the molecules are scattered okay means the low density in the liquid some compactness is there means it is uh, mo uh, more dense than the uh, gas okay 
and in the solid it is it is a compact one okay uh, there is no scatter okay so here is the high density so here in this example we can see that uh, the solid solid is a uh, more dense than the liquid and the gas okay so the density uh, density we can uh, the formula is m by v m is the mass and v is the volume okay so uh, the amount of mass contained in the volume so on the different material having the different density so here you can see that the uh, material is listed here and as per that the uh, with respect to the material the density in kg uh, kg per meter cube is there so the next term is movement of inertia so we discuss that the inertia so this one is a movement of inertia the movement of inertia we generally uh, denote with the i and it is nothing but the product of uh, mass into k square okay k is nothing but the radius of gyration the movement of inertia plays a very important role for understanding how object like a wheel flywheel or even planet behave when subjected to the torque or the angular acceleration at that time the movement of inertia we will take into the consideration the next term is angular momentum okay so the angular momentum is nothing but the product of moment of inertia and the angular velocity of the body okay so the angular momentum is a very important term uh, to understand the behavior of the spinning object uh, like a gyroscope planet in the orbit and even in the sub atomic particles next term is the efficiency so efficiency it is a very important term okay so efficiency is nothing but the ratio of output divided by the input okay the next term is a work okay so when we uh, when we apply the force on the body and body shows the displacement in the direction of force then we we will call it as a work okay or we can say work is done okay mathematically the work is is equal to force into the displacement the next term is a power okay so power is nothing but the rate of doing work or work done per unit time okay so uh, within how much time we are doing the work which is nothing but the power okay so the work uh, with respect to the time okay so how much time we are taking uh, for doing the work which is nothing but the power okay so the unit of the power is watt or joule per second or newton meter per second okay so we can write the power formula in terms of uh, torque and the uh, angular speed also so uh, we can say the power is equal to uh, torque into the angular velocity omega okay so the angular velocity then we can write by 2 pi n divided by 60 so the finally we will get the power formula 2 pi n t divided by 60 so here t is nothing but the torque okay in newton meter so the next term is very important term energy okay so energy is nothing but the capacity to do the work okay so the energy it, it, it comes in the different format like uh, mechanical energy electrical energy chemical energy heat energy or the light energy so uh, in terms of the mechanical energy energy if you see uh, it will be the potential energy strain energy and the kinetic energy and you can see here the different formulas uh, for the uh, potential energy strain energy and the kinetic energy so the potential energy it comes with uh, uh, suppose we have the object at the height uh, and we uh, and we have means uh, release the object from the height so that object having the energy uh, which can exert on the uh, earth okay and the strain energy so the strain energy suppose uh, we have uh, we have deformed the object so at that time the strain energy uh, pushes the body that can uh, regain its original position okay so that opposite force that uh, build because of the strain energy that can uh, so that body it will try to regain its original position okay and the kinetic energy so the, it is a energy pushes by the body for doing a work by virtue of its mass and velocity of the motion so during the motion so that body possesses the kinetic energy okay so friend 
that's all for this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon thank you for watching see you in the next video